You can't tell these people, these program ignorant ass people nothing. Believe in somebody that ain't never existed. Let's get it. Subscribe to the channel. It's King Me. You know, I I usually find it interesting when I see um, white people uh, kind of trying to put their, you know, their feet in black people's shoes. You know, it's like I like you. You know, sometimes I I have to like you know understand. That, you know, I mean, you can have sympathy and, you know, you can um, understand, but you can never really, you know, saying feel what we went through. But, you know, I'm never, I'm not a race. This is not a race call. This is just letting you know that um, it's different feelings, you know. It's different feelings, just like as well as um, uh, a mother that lost her child. You can never... Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's a different type of feeling. You know, you can never put your, you know, say, your your feet in, their, in them shoes right there, you know, until you go through that. You have to go through it. So just being, you know, black and, and assuming what we feel and not being black, it's just, it's just a totally different thing. But, you know, the video was interesting. So that's why I put it out there. Educational purpose. Watch this video. Subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. Food line. I gotta be honest. I'm a little worried right now. Um, they asked me to pull forward, and I'm pretty sure that they think I'm a cop. So I'm, I'm worried. My anxiety level has been raised. And I feel like that. I feel like that officer that posted that video earlier, because you know they 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 did. You know they they. They took my money and asked me to pull forward, and that's never happened. That's not something that happens just because they're busy. They must be up to no good. They must be up to something nefarious. They must be out to get me because of how I look. I imagine the fear that I am feeling right now is a fraction of what black Americans feel when they get pulled over, and they have to sit there and wait while their tags get ran before they get to find out whether or not the cop that walks up to the window is going to be somebody who fears for their life. The, uh... And another thing about this video is, um... You know, I, I don't, um... I said, maybe, I guess, when I was, you know, acting a fool and I was in that life back in the day, yeah, I used to fear the police, but, um... Not no more, you know, when you become a citizen and you're working and taking care of your family and living life. Um, no, I don't fear no police. I don't fear nothing but the man upstairs. So um, stereotyping right there. I don't I don't that's not I don't know. I don't know that every black person fears. I mean, I know they have something like a back of their mind, but I, I know it ain't like no anxiety. Well, I'm going to speak for me, not me. That anxiety level that that officer has, uh, that may be an indication that she needs to take a leave of absence. If you have that much anxiety over waiting in line at a fast food joint for an Egg McMuffin, perhaps you shouldn't be on the streets armed. I feel like uh, that level of anxiety, that level of fear, may cause someone to fear for their life in a situation where you know they, they really shouldn't, where it's not a rational fear. And that may lead to tragic consequences. It's probably time to take a leave of absence, to get off the street, to put that gun away. You don't want to hurt anybody. You know, for all I know, this officer maybe one of the few good apples, you know. And yeah, if that's the case, I imagine hey. it, it's pretty bad, hey, she's not doing bad to be on you. subjected to a stereotype based
based on how you look, based on your uniform. But I want to point out that law enforcement has been subjected to this negative bias for a couple of weeks. And you have officers and those associated with law enforcement posting videos of themselves crying or videos of full-blown meltdowns to social media. Imagine if that negative bias had existed for hundreds of years. Imagine if that negative bias wasn't due to a uniform that you could take off whenever you wanted to, but was due to your skin tone. This should be a wake-up moment for law enforcement. Because it, the anxiety level, yeah, I'm sure it's real. I'm sure there are people who are genuinely nervous right now, who are genuinely upset, who are genuinely worried. But to be honest, most of America right now is just like, well, I mean, it's really bad that you fit the description. 